Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. So on a lot of my videos, sometimes people glimpse the fact that I'm using like a mobile battery to power my equipment. And a lot of you guys ask me like, hey, what do you use? And the power battery that I used to use was actually uh, something that's no longer existing, no longer sold, that I had randomly bought on Amazon. And more recently, I've been using this thing, which is the Renault G, what, uh, GP14. And that's been, uh, I think it's a 260 six watt hour battery which is really nice but it's like not so cheap at 170 us dollars still this thing has gotten really good reviews and i've had good use out of it that said is it enough to power all of my equipment here for a whole night no no it's not enough uh, it will run out especially if you're using things like dew heaters and so there is always a market for higher capacity batteries if you want to go like with your whole equipment on the go to some like dark sites, like you want to take your car and you want to really like take advantage of that full night at the dark site that you have like traveled to, right? So for that, typically people go to like higher capacity batteries and some of the biggest players in the industry are like things like Jackery, right? Or EcoFlow or all of those brands. And of course you have offerings from like traditional ast astro makers like Celestron, etc. And today I actually want to show you another brand offering, which is from High Point Scientific, which is an Apertura battery. And uh, basically like High Point Scientific contacted me and said like, hey, we'd like you to uh, receive something, a mystery something uh, for you to have fun with. Uh, to which I said like, uh, Okay, I can't promise anything, but because I don't know what it is, right? Uh, but they guaranteed to me that I would like it. So I said, okay, they sent it to me. This is a complimentary copy, so I get it for free effectively. So you need to take that into account. But basically, this is what I got. This is the High Point Scientific uh, Apertura All Night Imaging Power Supply. And this is basically a 580, 18 watt hours lithium battery. Uh, it's uh, it's fairly massive, right? I mean, it's small, but let's say compared to to that that I've been using, it's uh, it's fairly massive. But you can see the big thing that it has going for it is it has 518 watt hours of power available, and it has like true outlets to uh, power your computer or things like that. It has four USB uh, outputs. It has two USB C outputs. It has two DC outputs together with some adapters for like single plugs. I'll, I'll go to that in a moment. And then it, it uses those ports here to charge as you need. And it comes with the power supply to charge uh, this. And it also has that uh, little cool feature with, which is a stream charge. I don't know if you've used mobile batteries, but these days they tend to be a bit too smart. If you use a mobile battery with something that doesn't use a lot of power, sometimes the mobile battery will determine like, hey, I'm not actually working. I'm not doing anything. So I'll turn myself off, uh, which is a bit of a problem if you were rely on that on that power if you're using it like to power star trackers that kind of stuff it can happen and it's very annoying what it when it does so with that we are able to avoid this kind of issue and i'm really happy to see like another astro maker getting into those portable batteries because as far as i can tell this is mobile batteries done right now together with the battery there is a black pouch that came with it and this comes actually with all of the cables that we would need for this battery we have of course the cable to charge uh the battery and then we have like a wide variety of cables that are available to us there's uh, uh this one which is well labeled like 5.5 times 2.1 uh, dc power uh cable two meters long and there's this usb-c power delivery cable that is also two meters long and there's a cigar plug type of cable and there's a splitter cables and you have like sugar, sugar uh, adapter cables or you have yet another cable that is uh, this time 5.5 times 2.5 millimeters two meters cable and this is for like ioptron mounts or mead mounts or also i think vixen mounts as well so it comes with all of the cables that you could pos possibly need with this particular power supply so you get uh, this, you get all of the cables and then you're ready to go. You have everything that should work with your equipment. And indeed, for my equipment, I had everything that I needed to work with it. So it is a complete package. And uh, like the wide range of ports that are available is actually really good for the hobby when I compare it with something from Jackery, for instance, which has the same capacity and the same kind of uh, format. The Jackery has far fewer plugs available. So it's always good to have this uh, flexibility. 
Of course, if you're interested in the power supply at any point, you can go in the description or in the comments. I'll have links where you can have a look at it and purchase it if you like. Talking about purchasing, it's, I believe, around 549 US dollars when you compare it to the list price. And I'll come back to that later of a similar capacity battery from Jackery of 500 or 499 US dollars very much the same range of price at least on the face of it and you get all of the cables and all of the adapters that you need for your equipment at the same time which has a price and a convenience price as well now also i have to say this was great timing that apertura sent me that because i was planning on buying such a large capacity battery anyway for disaster preparedness uh, purposes uh, because yes i am in japan and it is sometimes known that japan might have some small tiny earthquakes the earthquakes from, from time to time. Uh, it's always good to be prepared. So yeah, I mean, all jokes aside, this is great for me to have because I'll keep it, uh, I'm actually keeping it uh, charged and it, I will need to recharge it every six months or something like that to keep it like nice and, and healthy. And I have, re I have it ready to carry away with me just in case. So it's not just for astrophotography, at least in my case. Okay, but how does it perform at night? It is called, after all, the all night imaging power supply. So, does it survive all night? Let's have a look. Okay, now look at this little guy. Right now it's doing a lot. It's using the 110 power output to charge my laptop, which is running Nina connected to another PC that's mounted on the telescope. That other PC is also being powered by this, but I'm getting out ahead of myself. Via USB-C, it is also charging my phone, which really badly needed a charge actually. And then we have this cable here, which is actually the uh, cable for Ioptron and Mead mounts because it ends in a 2.5 uh, millimeter type DC port. And it is powering my Stellarmate Pro, which in turn is powering my Melee Quieter 4C mini computer. So right now, our little power supply is powering two computers at the same time, a smartphone, and it's also cooling down my Tech astrophotography camera to minus 10 degrees Celsius. And all of that, it seems, without breaking a sweat. Oh, and it's also heating up the front of the camera because it's using a view heater. Talking about a view heater, let me try out a view band. I don't need one. This is really stupid, but actually, I don't even need to, to put it around anything. But this one actually uses a DC output. So let me connect it to the power supply using one of the cables that was provided. Hopefully it's the right format. It is. And DC output. Boom. And let's see what is the controller telling me. Uh, yeah, it is actually going to heat up. <laughs> okay, this power supply is doing everything all at once. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave it be like without even using the, uh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to wrap up the dew band as if it were, you know, a real thing to do. And here we are. We have the dew band being powered. We have the Stellarmate Pro, the Quieter Force 3C mini PC getting powered. We have the mount getting powered. We have the uh, camera getting powered. We have the laptop getting powered. And we have the smartphone getting powered. I'm going to try out a session throughout the night and see whether this thing under like, I think this is a pretty good torture test, right? Under those conditions really survives throughout the night. So I'll set up my session. I'll just run it and I'll see you tomorrow to see how well it has performed. But yeah, this is neat. I always really looked at the Jackery stuff, but now that I have like a, something that is dedicated to astrophotography with the ports that we need and the cables that we need, it's really nice. Okay, and with that, see you tomorrow. Here we are in the morning. It's really cold, so I'm not gonna stay here for a long while, but I, have, I was very encouraged to see that the telescope had been put back into its park position. So that means that the imaging, imaging session that was scheduled to go all the way until dawn, astrom astronomical dawn, went perfectly fine, even though that power supply uh, was uh, providing power to the dew heater, was providing power to the laptop, and I also used it uh, for a brief while to uh, provide uh, power to my C-Star S50. 
And of course, it was providing power to the camera, filter wheel, uh, focuser, Stellarmate Pro, and mini PC on the top. So a lot of power to provide. That said, right now, if I click on any of the buttons, well, it's no longer reacting, but uh, earlier it said 0%. So yeah, it had completely drained. And uh, that's fine because effectively I set it up and basically started consuming power at 5.30 p.m. yesterday evening. And when I look at the last frame that was taken, the last surf frame right before astronomical dawn, dawn it was 4.15 a.m. And it, of course, needed to last a bit more than that to park the telescope, etc. So I'd say that overall it lasted with very difficult load for 11 hours. Okay, I think it's safe to call it an all-night power supply. Although maybe not if you're living like in Sweden or Norway or Finland, where the night can be very, very long. <laughs> so as we've seen, it's fair to say that the battery did indeed survive the whole night. And so I think it is a very good option if you were looking for something that is relatively portable, that can power your equipment throughout a really you know, difficult night of imaging. At least in my case, it was relatively cold at seven degrees Celsius throughout the night, sometimes even lower. I think it went down to roughly five degrees Celsius on that night. And of course the battery did take advantage of the fact that my laptop went to sleep in the middle because that's what laptops do. It still showed a really good ability to work as a workhorse for 11 hours in a row, which to me was pretty impressive coming from, from things like this battery, which is pretty good on its own. And again, I'll have all of the links down in the description. Okay, but what about the competition? So I already mentioned the Jackery batteries, right? There are Jackery batter batteries, like 580, 18 watt hours, same capacity as this one, but far fewer ports and roughly, I was saying the same list price. That said, if you go on Amazon right now, or at least I went on amazon.com, I looked at it and I saw there was a 150 US dollars coupon on it, which made the Jackery version of, uh, this battery are, like I said, a Jackery 512 watt hour capacity battery cost effectively 350 US dollars. So $200 less than this, in which case, okay, maybe if you don't need all of the plugs, you already have all of the cables that you need to connect and power your equipment, then the Jackery battery might make simply more sense. I'll have links to that in the description as well. Of course, if your power requirements are smaller than, than like 518 watt hours, something like this one, the Renogi battery works pretty well. So I'm not saying like, okay, you absolutely have to buy this, this is the best thing ever, because there are alternatives and those alternatives are also very valid. That said, if you want something that is like really specific to astrophotography that basically supports one of our main astrophotography de dealers, right? Equipment dealers, which is always good to support that has all of the cabling that you need and well labeled as well for astrophotography has all of the ports that you need and can demonstrably last all night in relatively cold conditions. Then this is a great choice, of course. Before you buy anything like that, you want to compare to other options. But you know, if you're if you're lazy and you don't want to spend time like building your perfect power system from scratch, I think this is a good option. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say with this battery. I've used on used it on other nights as well, just to make sure and then have like regular results with it. And it worked really well on those nights as well. I didn't have the laptop plugged in on, on this occasion. So they, it just lasted throughout the night. It's a, it's a solid battery and it works well. Uh, should you buy it, that depends on you, that depends on your needs, and that depends on, you know, what the competition is with regards to your needs. So, you know, check the competition out as well. But again, I think this is a very solid uh, battery if you're looking for such an offering and if you have the need for it. So what do you think of this? Let me know down in the comments while you're going there. Like, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, in which case, welcome. And of course, if you want to support the channel at no cost to you and you're planning on buying anything on like Amazon or High Point Scientific or Agena, etc., you could do so after clicking the links down in the description. It really helps the channel out at no cost to you. Or if you want to be more active in your support of the channel, you can join the channel as a Patreon supporter, uh, link down in the description, or as a channel member. Every bit helps out and you guys truly make the channel possible. Anyway, looking forward to your feedback on that, but more important than all of that, don't forget whenever you can to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.